from uh, Davidenko, Shenya. First one, the British pound. So the British pound is getting weaker. Mm -hmm. uh, it means that it's trading in this pound. Okay, so we're getting less dollars for our one pound, so it's getting weaker and it's, it's going to be at a discount. So where do you, which country do you think has higher inflation? The UK or the US? The British pound is getting weaker. Which country do you think has higher inflation? UK, right? Uh, then Kim Ye Ran, the second one. Japanese yen. Japanese yen is stronger. So? Okay. So the settlement date for the forward rate is calculated on the spot value date. So the forward settlement date is the calendar date, also adjusting for holidays and weekends. So a one month forward with a spot value date of Wednesday, September the 21st would have a settlement date on Friday, October the 21st, a 31 day run. While a one month forward with a spot value date of Friday, September the 23rd would have a settlement date on Monday, October the 24th because the 23rd is a Sunday. Okay? So it's the same date on the next month except where we like the spot one where we run into the weekend or the holiday. Then we need to push it back. Okay? So we could be like uh, Monday, January the 31st could also be finished on uh, February the 28th, because there is no 31st in February. Okay. So, look at this calendar, maybe you have it there. So, for a spot date, Great British Pound, US Dollar, done on Monday the 26th. Okay. What is the spot trade date? What is the spot value date? So, Look at the calendar, and also for the deal done on September the 26th and on September the 30th. What is this trade date and what is the value date? So discuss with your partner. Two business days. Two business days. Okay, uh, Trey on the first one. Where's Trey on the When's the value date? Uh, October 28th. No. This is September 28th. September 28th, okay. And the second one, Chui Jin Yang. Second one. October. Trade date? When is the value date? So 
So the trade date is going to be the same. It's the same day the deal is done, okay? So trade date should be September the 30th. And the spot value day should be two days later, okay? The spot two business days later. So the spot value date is going to be October the 3rd. So of the weekend, we have to plan the weekend is there. So then let's look at the forward contracts. So the next one is, there is a two month forward deal done on Friday, September the 23rd. When is the trade date? When is the spot value date? Okay. Uh, just, what date will it be settled? Okay, so don't, the last question you don't have to worry about. Just the first one. When is the trade date? What is the spot value date? What date will the forward be settled? The value date. Spot value date. Mm -hmm. Okay. When is the forward one going to be settled? Okay, so we go forward to the 27th then of September. But 27th of September is going to be uh, it's going to be a Sunday, so we need to move up to the 28th. Okay. Then. The next one. So US Canada is just a one day. So what is the trade date for the US Canadian dollar? Uh Yoon Sung Ho. Yoon Sung Ho not here. <laughs> when is the trade date? Uh, September thirtieth. When is the spot value date? No, the spot value date. Mm, one day, one business day. Here we have the 30th of September, Friday. When is one business day after the 30th of September? When is the next business day? What is the next business day after September the 30th? October 3rd. So then what date will the forward be settled? Two months later. Okay, so we have to go again. We have to think about the weekend. So it's going to be December 5th. Okay? So this is just looking at the dates, just taking into account when we're doing these things, we're talking about one month or two months. Okay, we're talking about business days. Okay, so we can't finish on the weekend. Okay, or a holiday. It has to finish. Settlement day has to be on a weekday. Okay, so the next topic is uh, understanding the foreign exchange quote. But before that, let's do a review. So, some of the things we studied today. So, just discuss with your partner. 
Uh, who are the main participants in the FX market? Institutions can also be insurance companies, that kind of things. Brokers. And uh, let's see, E. E. J. Hawk. Where is the centre of the foreign exchange market? There is no one foreign exchange market. But where is ge geographically? Where is the central location? Okay, so London. Why? Does anybody know why is London the mainly the center? Geography. Yes, what's the geographic merit? They are stuck to in what was the word for that? Did you say the word? Overlap. Do you understand overlap? Yes. The time overlaps with Asia and US. the US. Okay. Okay, so then explain to your partner a forward transaction and a swap transaction. This one is explaining forward, forward rates, forward transactions. Mm -hmm. 
What about the future value? Future value of what? Yes. So can we make a contract to lock the future value? Yes. So to make the sentence, we can say that we can make a contract to understand the contract. We can make a contract to lock in the future value. Okay. To understand the lock in, lock the exchange rate. Okay. What is the? How do they decide the future value of the exchange rate? What do they use to help them calculate the future value? Is it exactly the same as today's value? Mm. What do they use to calculate the difference? <laughs> what did we use here to calculate the difference between the yeah? Yeah, and we'll strike it all. Okay, can anyone really tell me what do we use to calculate the former rate? The interest rate, right? The spot rate, today's spot rate, and the interest difference in the interest rates between the two currencies, right? So then, uh, what about swaps? Chu Gang Chan, can you explain about swaps? We do two different transactions at the same time. What two different transactions do we do? Which two transactions do we do at the same time? Mm -hmm. Buy and sell. But what kind of transaction do we do? One is buying and the other is selling. But what are, what's the name of the transaction? Today we saw three transactions. So which two transactions are we doing when we do a swap? There are only two other transactions we, we looked at today. Okay, so we're doing a spot and a forward. Okay? So can you give me an example of a swap? <coughs> Some practical example. Investor wants to buy stocks in Argentina. What do they what should they do? American investor buying stocks in Argentina. What do they need to do? Buy what, sell what? Make a forward contract with what? What's the spot transaction going to be? Buy pesos and sell dollars, or sell dollars and buy pesos? American investor wants to buy stocks in Argentina. What's the spot transaction? stocks in Argentina? Mm -hmm. And? Yes. 
Yes. Then, two years later, what's the forward transaction? The opposite. Mm. Okay. <coughs> Is Trey Young Jay here? Here. Okay. So then, uh, Trey Young Do Jay, what is the purpose of the swap? Why do people do the swap? What's the purpose? Why didn't the U.S. investor just leave the open? Why did the American investor make a forward contract? Why didn't he just do a spot? He can always just change the money back after two years. Why did he make a contract to change the money after two years at a specific exchange rate, close to today's exchange rate? What's the main reason people use this kind of? Forward contract or swaps? To avoid what risk? Okay, to avoid the exchange rate risk. Okay. So then, does anybody have any question about what we studied today? And then, just before the next class, there's a reading here, which is on the reading for week four. So, in the next class, we'll talk a little bit about this. So, if you if you read this beforehand, you can help, right? It just explains about bid and ask price trading currencies. Okay? The type of vocabulary we use for trading currencies. In the reading list on the notice board.